Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the photo feature to your app. Log into your account and go to your business dashboard. Next click on manage app and you'll be redirected to the overview page. Next under the edit, test and go live section click on edit. Now to add the photo feature click on the add feature button in the sidebar then click view all and search photo. Click on the feature to add it to your app. Once you added the future, you will see the future listed in my future section where you can edit, customize and organize the added features the way you want. Now hover over the future and you will have options to show hide the future, edit and customize the future, delete the future and move the future. Now let's check out what all you can do with the newly added photo future. Click on the pencil icon here to edit and customize the future. This is your page or future name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the future icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from a library or upload your own custom icon image. Let's move to the content section now. Here you will see different options, including Facebook, Flickr, Pine, PineRest, Instagram, etc. through which you can integrate all your photos. Now let's check each option one by one. First, let's integrate photos from Facebook. This is your Facebook option name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the Facebook icon. You can upload an icon from our, our library or you can upload your own custom icon image. Now to integrate photos from Facebook, enter your Facebook page name in this field. If you don't know how to obtain your Facebook page name, then click the I icon here and refer to our tutorial. Once you provided a valid page name, you will see get a get album button here. Click on it to select an album from the dropdown. Now to view how the photos of your selected album will be displayed on your app, you can check the simulator here. If you want to integrate multiple photo albums from Facebook, then click the add more button here. From here, you can remove the Facebook option. Now let's integrate photos from Flickr. Click the Flickr option and update the Flickr option name and icon if you want or leave them as is. Enter your Flickr username to integrate photos from Flickr. Obtain your Flickr username, you can refer to our tutorial. Or if you wish to add multiple Flickr profiles, then click the Add More button. Click Remove to remove the Flickr profile. Similarly, you can integrate photos from Pinterest by providing your Pinterest username. Let's now go ahead and integrate photos from Instagram. From here, you can change the Instagram option name and icon image. Now to integrate photos, click on the link your profile button. Once your profile has been linked, you will see your Instagram username here and you can view the images of your link profile on the simulation screen. If you want to add multiple Instagram profiles, then click the add more button. Click remove to remove your Instagram profile. If now let's move on to the custom option. The custom option lets you add images from your device. Click here to add images and once added, you will see them here. Please note you can add multiple images and then upload them all at once. Now you can individually upload the added images or click the start upload button here to upload multiple images at once. From here, you can change the title of the image. Click here to delete the uploaded image. If you want to delete multiple images in a single go, then select this checkbox and click delete all. You can even add multiple custom image albums by clicking the add more button here. Click remove to delete the custom album. Now let's go ahead and check out the 360 images option. With this option, you can upload custom 360 images as well as upload images from our 360 media library. Please note this feature works well on phones that support gyroscope sensors. From here, you can change the option name and icon if you want. Now under the Upload 360 Image tab, you can upload your own custom 360 or panoramic images or switch to the to use 360 Media Library tab and select images from the media library. Once you added the images, you will see them here. If you want, you can add an image caption or delete the image from here. To add multiple 360 image albums, click on the add more button here or click remove to delete the 360 image album. Now coming to the OneDrive option, this is the OneDrive option name and icon. If you want, you can change them as per your needs. 
Now, in order to integrate photos from OneDrive, you need to provide the OneDrive client ID and secret key. To help you out, we have a tutorial that you can refer to for obtaining the required keys. Once you obtain the keys, paste them here and click on the connect button to successfully integrate photos from OneDrive. You can even add multiple OneDrive profiles by clicking the add more button here. From here, you can remove the OneDrive profile. Now let's move on to the last option, example, user gallery. This lets you add image albums and also lets your app users add images to your album and share the images as well. From here, you can change the user gallery option name and icon if you want. You can also delete this option by clicking remove. Now let's start adding images to your album. Click on the add images button and you will be redirected to your gallery dashboard. Here you will find all your albums listed. By default, an album has been added here. You can view the details including album cover image, album title, and image count. Example, the number of images presented in your album. Now let's add images to this default album. Click this icon under the image count column, then click on add photos and add photos from your device library. Once you added the photos, you will see them here. You can enter an image caption in this field. From here, you can upload the image, cancel uploading the image, and resize the added images if you want. You can even add multiple images to the album and upload all of them in a single go by clicking on the Start Upload button here. Once your images have been successfully uploaded, you will see them listed in this section. From here, you can search the photos by caption and also perform certain actions including making selected photos active, inactive, or deleting the photo. From here, you can view the photo details, including the image, caption, and image uploaded by. Hover over this region and click the three-dot icon to edit the photo. Change the status of the photo, example, active or inactive, and delete the photo. Similarly, you can add multiple photo to this album by clicking on the Add Photos button here. Once you have added the photos to the album, the image count will be displayed in the album section. To check that out, let's go back to the album section. Now under the image count column, you will find the number of photos that you've uploaded to this album. Next, hover over the region here and click the three dot icon to manage the album. Click the album, make the album active or inactive or delete the album. Now let's create a new album. Click the create album button here and pop up will open. In the pop-up, enter your album title, set the album status, and upload an album image. Once done, click on save. On your album, will be created and display here. Now, similar to the way we added images in the default album, you can add images to this album as well. Now, let's move to the reported photo section. In this section, you will find the, all the photos that have been reported by your app users. Next comes general settings, which is further subdivided into configuration settings and language settings. First, let's see the configuration settings. Enable this toggle if you want to allow your users to report photos. Enable the auto approve photos toggle to auto approve the photos added by the, your app users. If you want only your locked in users to upload photos, then enable this toggle. You can also make the photo private by enabling this toggle here. Now click on language settings. Under the language settings sections, you can manage all text alerts and messages showing up in the user gallery option in the app. Now let's go back and check out the advanced settings for the photo feature. Click this icon in, this, in the side menu and you'll be redirected to the advanced settings section. Enable the image sharing toggle to allow your app users to share the images with others. Please note the image sharing feature does not support 360 images. Now click this icon in the side menu to change the language settings of the photo feature. Under language settings, you will find all text alerts and messages showing up in the photo feature. If you want, you can change the text as per your needs. Let's now change the layout and color scheme of your photo feature. Click on this color palette icon to change the page style and color scheme. Click on the background icon and select an image for the page background. If you want, you can select an image from our library, solid color, or upload your own custom background image. Next, select your desired layout from the options. From here, you can set the page elements, color, and font size. You can even show the header icon by enabling this toggle here. Now, let's enable in-app purchase for this feature. Click the in-app settings icon in the side menu 
then under in-app settings enable the in-app toggle and provide the necessary credentials and the required fields. Please note you can enable in-app for both Android and iOS. For getting the credentials, you can click on the question mark icon and refer to our tutorial. After providing the credentials, you can use them as global credentials by checking this checkbox here. Please note you can also add new credentials if you want. Once you you're done, click on save to save the changes manually or directly click the publish button to see the reflection of your latest updates on your mobile app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.